everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Scarlett and please make sure to subscribe. Okay. I'm going to be doing like a everyday sort of makeup routine slash get ready with me. Um, these videos seem to do quite well. Some of you are interested, some of you aren't interested, but anyways. But before I start the video, I wanted to talk about, oh my god, ignore my nose for a start, to say that I'm excited to be working with Anna Louisa in this video. This was an actual ideal choice for me to collab with them when they reached out to me because I feel like now jewellery is becoming sort of like a big aspect of fashion and it really makes outfits. Do you know what I mean? So like you'd be wearing like a basic outfit like this. I'm literally just wearing an O poly corset top. But wearing like a necklace piece or a jewellery piece like this really sort of makes it look a lot nicer and brings some sort of like, I don't know, like uniqueness to it. They are currently having the biggest sale on of the year. Hi, it's Edit. Oh God, it's Editing Scarlet hopping in. So, um, basically, I filmed this a few days ago and recently... Anna Louisa have come into contact with me and they've said that their sale has now actually ended so there isn't a sale anymore due to a lot of their pieces getting out of stock so instead um, I've got a discount code that will give you 10% off that will be on screen here or in the description box down below as well as the link to Anna Louisa's website all their pieces start from $39 now you will absolutely love them like I do so yeah just wanted to pop on and say that so this is a three-piece necklace. This is a three-piece necklace set. So the, obviously the sense piece is this lovely gold little circle. And then we have sort of like a longer chain that goes with it and, and like a chain choker. I feel like gold is a better colour for me than silver, so that's why I chose this item. I also picked another necklace off their website. And this is literally just a simple gold chain. I feel like these are really effective with some outfits as well. This is the Michelle set and this was £105. And I also chose ugh, I also cho chose this Adam Bold necklace, which was £70, but with 40% off, it was 48 So you may as well buy two. I feel like coming up to Christmas and like birthdays, it's a really nice treat because on the website that because on the website there's something for absolutely everyone. You should go and check the website out, honestly. It's full of everything. Earrings, bracelets, necklaces. Quality of the necklaces, obviously, it is, but they're very, very sturdy. Do you know sometimes when you buy like cheap jewellery, it's quite quite flexible. Do you know what I mean? It feels quite like weird. But this feels really sturdy and just lovely. But they do fair prices, so all their jewellery starts at $39. Really little pouches, so they can't get tangled up, you don't lose them. And that says Ana Luisa on it, that's like a black navy colour. This was Michelle X Ana Luisa, which is this one, because it's the Michelle set. And it's like a khaki colour, so a lot of thought goes into everything. Get assumptions... And I've also asked for some unpopular opinions to talk about on Instagram. So I put like a little questions thing on. And I asked people to give me some unpopular opinions. And if anyone wondering what I did on my hair, I used the Beautyworks waiver tool. I actually used primer now. All my face, like I don't know if you can see, I've got a little spot coming. Ew. But um, yeah, so I've got eyelash extensions and I've had my eyebrows laminated. So it doesn't really take me that long anymore. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This really fills in your pores. I did actually stop using primer for a bit, but now I've started using it again. It like really does make a difference. So I do suggest if you have like a pore filling primer to definitely use it. Now I don't put it all over my face. I just put it where my pores mainly are. So across here on my cheeks and on my nose. Moving on to brows. So I have my brows laminated, laminated. So all I have to do is wet my spoolie and literally just brush them to where I want them to be like this. Like if I want them more brushed up, I'll use my wet spoolie to brush them up more. If I want them more brushed down, I will do so. I did get them tinted, but obviously that's faded because I've had them done like a week and a half ago. So I've started using a pomade instead of a pencil because I've tried to be making my brows look as natural as possible. And I feel like a pencil makes them look really, really defined, which is not 
what we want. So let's talk about the first assumption or question or anything. Put that you are chatting to bear lads, which means you're chatting to ladies boys. Um, no, um, I, well, like I'm not speaking to anyone in that way because I've realised now that I just don't want that. Like I've been in, so this year, I don't, like, I don't know if you've been watching my channel since I actually started it in March, but this year I've had a boyfriend all year apart. So we broke up in like September, start of September. Well, officially August, but like we were pretty much still together. But um, yeah, so we broke up then. So I've like, I've never really allowed myself to be single. So now I've just started giving myself time and sort of allowing myself to think about myself and not really think about anyone else because obviously if there's someone that comes along and they're like absolute dream boy like what I've been looking for ever since I came out my mum's thing then I'm not gonna like let I'm not gonna say no I've obviously just concealed that brow and that's how it looks so I'm putting you struggle in school um I don't I don't go to school anymore, but I don't know that if you've, like I say, you've been watching my videos for a long time, but school was one of the biggest struggles, like, of my life. Like, it was, <sighs> I don't like talking about it, to be fair, because I feel like I've said what I've said about everyone at school, and I stick by it. My opinions have not changed. I think sixth form is just an easy escape. But like I said, that's not my business. Like I speak to people that go to my old school sixth form, like boys. I don't speak to any of the girls. And there's a big reason for that. But what I do want to address, just in case anyone decides to watch this video. If you other girls can relate, like my YouTube friends or my TikTok friends, like there's certain girls from my sixth form well, from my old school sick form, that I know do not like me. And I'm not, like, I'm not asked. I'm not going to lie. I'm not bothered. So this whole group of girls, they don't like me. <laughs> Fairs, I don't like me either. No, I do. Um, And then, so, like, me just being me, I just look through who looks at my Instagram story. A long story. Don't ask why I do it. I just do and I just noticed that this whole friendship group have unfollowed me on Instagram, right? They've all unfollowed me. Fairs. Fine, I'm not bothered. But what I don't get is if you don't follow on my Instagram, why do you see my story every time? And it's just like, would you embarrass yourself that much? Like, why would you embarrass yourself that much? Like, now I'm going to use the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas um, thing. I also did use the P. Louise, but I don't know. I feel like this is just a lot easier to get on with. Don't come for me. Someone put, get a proper job. Um, this is my job. Um, I make an income from YouTube. I get my money from here. I get my money from brand deals. I get sent free stuff. So... If you're not classing social media as a proper job, then that's on you. But this is actually my current job. Out of Nars Sheer Glow, which is what I use. So I'll mix these two. Now you will be very surprised. This is Collection Illuminating Touch Foundation in Warm Beige. And this is Primark My Perfect Colour in um, Honey 11. This is quite dark. This is quite fair. So... This is my natural skin colour at the minute. I look quite pale, not gonna lie. So what I do is, I literally just put, I'm kind of running out of this, thank God it's Christmas soon. So I put like a pump of each on. So I put it like that. I try to put more pale on than the darker colour because I just feel like that's what looks better on my skin. And then I dip the end of a brush in this because it doesn't have a pump. So I dip the end of a brush in 
wipe a bit on my face and then sort of blend the two colours together until I get like that colour. I did use a brush but now I just use a beauty blender because I don't know I feel like you get more of an even coverage with that. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 and Last Imperfection Concealer in Biscuit 7. A line down here and then a line up here and then I do the same on the other eye. Line down here and a line up here and then just here, here and here and then do you know what I mean? This is like a yellowy, lighter colour. Now take my Last Imperfection Concealer. And I pop like a little blob of this just in the middle of both lines. And that's literally all I do with that concealer. And then I take the same beauty blender I used for my foundation. I literally just blend that in. Trusty old... Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in Mink. Uh, it's actually a stick foundation, but I use it for contour. So I've been doing quite a nose contoury person at the minute. I think that's slimmer nose. Next question. You're not famous, so don't ignore people just because you have more followers through little beauty pageants. Well, actually, it says pageants. So whoever wrote this, and then you can't even see it, it says P-A-D-G-E-T-T-S. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say I have more followers because of pageants. Like, that is, like, I do have a platform through my pageants, but I have a separate account where I post my pageant stuff. I feel like I get my followers because I work hard for them. Like, to get sort of like a platform I've learned on social media and just like an influencing platform, you need to work hard. Like you can't just expect to gain a thousand followers if you're just sitting there posting on Instagram like once a month or once every two months. Do you know what I mean? You've got to sit and you've actually got to work for it. Swimwear. So I think people are like, why are you put in teenage girls in swimwear? And I can tell you for a fact, if those, oh God, if those teenage girls did not want to be put in swimwear, they wouldn't enter the pageant. Like, not every single pageant has a swimwear around. Like, I know the, uh, I know the pageant I did, Miss Teen Galaxy, that did have a, um, swimwear around. But every single girl that took part in that pageant wanted to do it. We're not, like, it's not exactly like they're forcing all the girls to put swimwear on because if they didn't want to do swimwear they'd go and enter another system like they could go and answer enter miss teen great britain for example but they don't because i think you'll find like the swimwear around is really quite empowering and i don't think anyone will understand that unless like wait until they've competed in a swimwear round at a pageant like, it's just the same as posting, like, loungewear pics and, like, bikini pictures on Instagram. Well, actually, people have a problem with that as well, so I don't know why I just said that. But, um, at the end of the day, you just got to let people do what they want to do. Like, it does not affect you. And I don't think I'm famous. Why? I've got 2,000 subscribers. Like, I'm grateful for that. But I don't think I'm famous at all because I'm not. I'd love to be, wouldn't everyone, but no, like I'm not, I'm not about that life. Well, actually I say that, of course I am. Oh God. So now I contour and I use the Smashbox Contour Palette. So this has three different colours in it. I use this one to contour. I just use this Zoeva face paint brush take the darkest colour and just sort of go over sort of go over my little contour -y. just to sort of add a bit of add a bit of definition you know let's add a little bit of spice to that 
Yeah, bronze. Now, before I did literally just bronze and use it as contour because I thought it was the same thing. But now I've like researched into makeup a bit more. I've learned that like contour and bronzer are different because contour is more of like a grey, well no, more of like a brown shade. But the bronze is more of like a orangey, cute shade. Do you know what I mean? Like... So I take this Zoeva Lux Sheer Cheek Brush and the MAC Dark Deep Bronzer and literally just smile and just put it like pretty much all over my face. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Gold Deposit and the same brush I contoured with because it's quite glittery and then I just like dab that on my cheeks to give me an extra bit of shimmer, you know, and then I put that on the end of my little nose as well. Another unpopular opinion was pineapple does not go on pizza. You know what? Like, I hate to say it. I actually quite enjoy pineapple on pizza. Like, I don't see the problem. I think it's quite nice. I really do. Like, I think it is, like, a decent combination. Is blusher. I love blusher now. Like, I love it. Before, I was like... You know, like, in my, like, year nine, year eight sort of phase. I don't know about you. I just didn't want to put blusher on because of these two. Because it's sort of, like boost the highlighter as well so i've seen that because you're 16 years old you're old enough to get filler and do what your older friends do um i don't really know it's not because my older friends do it, it's because that's just what i want to do like i will go and do it if i want to do it do you know what i mean now this look probably would go absolutely banging with a red lip but i don't know i'm just not feeling that today and then fine well not finally we do bottom lash mascara and for this i use benefit roller lash i use primark gold lust highlighter honestly the best highlighter i've used literally like you, just goes to show that like not all the time do you need to go out and buy like the most expensive highlighter because it's going to be the shiniest one like most of the time it's not brushes Take the three, ha three pound Primark highlighter, such a bargain, zip it in, looks like this, and put it on the tip and like the bridge of my nose. I don't know why I'm talking like this, I just switch accents for fun. Um, my cheekbones, look at that. I mean, have like, just, ugh. I can't express my love for it. It's honestly beautiful. And it's lasted me ages as well. Like, I haven't even hit pan yet. And I've dropped it countless times, right? And I literally dropped my Jeffree Star highlighter once. And it smashed everywhere. It was literally two days after Christmas. And I got it last Christmas. And it smashed everywhere. It's is. Well... Pencil by MAC. I like to slightly overline my lips, but not take it to the point where I look like horrific. Here's the MAC lipstick in Myth. It's the satin one. Looks like this. And I just pop that all over my lips. like so so it sort of creates like a paler color like this no boho lip gloss that's what i use this is more of like a darker lip gloss so i like to use this to like darken my lip color like so obviously make sure to check Anna Louisa out the link will be in the description box down below oh I forgot to tell you I also use the iconic drops not drops spray to set my makeup and give it a nice natural glow as well so if you did enjoy, if you did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you did enjoy it comment down below any questions or just anything you know drop a comment 
All my social medias will be linked in the description box down below as well as my Anna Louisa link. Um, please go and enter my giveaway on TikTok and I will hopefully, well, I'll hopefully see you all in my next video.